Okay, so in this video we're going to look at how to add fractions. There's actually a couple of videos on this particular subject. It's a really important subject and you're going to come across it quite a lot in high school maths. So the first one is we'll start with a relatively straightforward one and I've got three examples to go through. Okay, so the first one is let's look at something like a half plus a quarter. Okay, well there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can either imagine it, okay? So what we're saying here is we've got a cake and we're going to cut that cake in half. Okay, and there it is. And then somebody else comes along and they're going to have a quarter of a piece of cake. Okay, and what we're saying is how much of the cake has actually gone? Well, what you can imagine is that if I take that piece of cake here and I put it into the piece of cake that had the half taken off, then I hope you can see that that will give you the equivalent of three quarters of the cake is missing and therefore I've only got a quarter of the cake left. It's not a great way of doing maths because what we're doing really is we're just kind of visualising the situation. Um, but I guess in many respects it's helpful to be able to visualise first to be able to find a way in which we can uh, use as a method for all these sorts of calculations. Well in the previous video we talked about equivalent fractions and actually if you imagine that what we've got in here is three quarters of the cake, which is the answer that we're looking for. But how do we do that? Well, what we say is, is that half is exactly the same as two quarters or two out of four. And if you remember in the previous video, that's what we were doing is we were saying that's times two and that's times two. So therefore, one half is the same as two over four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this sum, and I'm going to rewrite it as two over four plus one over four. So two over four plus one over four, or two quarters plus one quarter equals three quarters. Okay. I hope that's been okay for you. It is the general principle that we're going to use. So let's say we get a little bit more sophisticated and let's say that we have something like five over 12 and we're gonna add that to one over six. Well, the problem we've got there is the bottom numbers are different and we need to make them the same in order to be able to add them properly together. Okay, so again, I'm going to use this whole idea of equivalent fractions, and rather than having this as a 6, I'm going to make them both 12. So what I'm going to say is that will be 5 over 12 plus something over 12. Okay, now what I've done is I've got 1 over 6, and if I multiply this by 2, I can multiply the top number by two. And that's no different to all the other, the other videos or the preceding videos, that now I can make that two out of 12. So now I can add the two together. So I've got five over 12 plus two over 12, add those two together, and I've got seven over 12. Okay, I hope that's okay for you and it should be fairly straightforward to follow if you've looked at the previous videos on equivalence and how that works. Okay, I just want to touch on one slightly different element of this. Okay, and that's, I want to look at this particular question again and I'm going to change it to be something like 5 over 6 and that's going to be added so let's say uh, we'll make this um, 7 out of 12. Okay, so what I've done is I've changed that to 7 out of 12, and I've changed this to 5 out of 6. Okay, so like we did before, I'm going to change this. Rather than 5 out of 6, I'm going to change that to something out of 12. So I've multiplied that by 2. So I'm going to multiply the top by 2, so that's 10. Okay. Now hopefully that won't be too much, uh, too much change to, to what you've been used to. 
Okay, so I've now got 10 out of 12 plus 7 out of 12. I end up with 17 out of 12. All right. That's where sometimes the rubber meets the road. It's just a little bit tricky. I hope you're okay to follow all of those. But when you get an answer which is a fraction, 7 out of 12, it's relatively straightforward and it's usually the correct answer. When we get to this, it still is the correct answer, but it's been put into a slightly different format. It's been put in something called top heavy fractions. And we talked about that in a previous video. So 17 out of 12 will now become one whole, and then I've got five twelves left over. And if you can imagine what we've done is we've taken 12 twelves to make one whole, and then I've got five left over. Okay, I hope that's all right for you. These are the couple of different ways that you need to look at when you're adding fractions, that you need to make sure that the bottom numbers are exactly the same each time. And if you find that when you finish, you end up with an improper or a top heavy fraction, then just change it to a mixed number. And if you refer to one of the earlier videos, that will give you a lot of that detail.